Hello lovers, it's me, Jasmine. Welcome to my channel from Jasmine with Love. Please um, just take a few moments and hit the subscribe button. It is February 1st and this is my first vlog of 2017. I took some time away to um, just step away from social media and really evaluate what I want to do on here and ask God what he wanted me to do on here um, and you know just write down and pray about the vision that I have for this channel for 2017 but now I am back and I'm ready to get to know you guys and, and so the first thing we're going to do it is February 1st and so I'm doing my first series of this vlog um, the series is going to be called um, for the love for you, you guys heard that, that saying, oh, for the love, for the love of something. Usually people say it when they're a little um, upset about something, but for the love of Pete, for the love of, uh, sometimes they use the Lord's name in vain, uh, for the love of whatever it is. Um, but I'm here to say that it all is for the love and it's for the love of you, for the love of you. Um, and we are going to be um, using this week for this part one of this series for the love um, is going to be um, our scripture is going to be John three sixteen. it's the scripture that everyone knows the scripture most people know the scripture it was the first scripture I ever memorized um, and it is for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son or his one and only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting or eternal life um, it is i think probably the most famous verse in the bible and it's so easy to kind of just gloss over it because you've heard it so many times if you've grown up in the church if you've been to church sporadically you've surely you've heard it at some point um but when you really sit down and you read it and you think about it and you meditate on it it's so full of just wondrous all inspiring truth and goodness um so that's the verse that we're going to be studying from this week and point one that i got out of this verse is that the first few words for god so loved the world god loves this world he loves this whole world and when i think about that i think <laughs> about the children's song he's got the whole world in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands sing with me he got the whole world in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands um, and I think about Jesus loves the little children and I just think that anything that God create, anything that I create, I'm thinking about myself, um, because we are, you know, we have to be able to relate to it somehow, thinking about myself or even you think about yourself, think about anything that you might create, whether, whatever it is, and something that you've taken time and something that you've put your your personality into something that maybe you have a brand or a trademark something that you've put some time and some thought into and that reflects your personality that reflects your image you know god said let us make man in our image and so we were made we were created in his image so he loves us as his creation and anything that i know that anything that i create that i put you know my brand on or that I put my personality into or that has a rep is a representation of me I I love it I cherish it I want that is special to me I know that when I create something in my image and I've created two images of myself very small images of myself one of which has my face it's just smaller if you put a baby picture between me and her it's the same baby um but I know those two things that are created in my image I there's it's an indescribable love it's a frustrating love it's it's an all-encompassing love that I have for for them for my children and we are his children we are God's children he loves us as a people he loves us as his children and he loves us as individuals um, you know, he said, we, we are his creation, we are his workmanship. He has created us in Christ Jesus for a purpose that was predestined before the beginning of the world. Um, and so, 
it hurts my heart a lot of the times. I try, this is not, I try not to watch too much news these days um, because we are in a time period right now where there is so, there's such a lack of love um, between God's children um, and for each other. And I really, I just want to let everyone know that he loves every single one of us, no matter what our color, our religion, our creed, he loves us. He wants all of us to have the same experiences, to come to him and to know him and to love him. That's all he wants and, and that's all his heart desires. And it's, I mean, what more could you want for your creation for your children, but for them to know the one who created you, for them to know the love that the creator has for them. Um, so, I mean, he loves the world. In Psalms, um, it says, Psalms 33, 4 and 5 says, For the word of the Lord is right, and his work is trustworthy. He loves the righteous and righteousness and justice, and the earth is full of his unfailing love. Um, Psalms 119.64 The earth is filled with your love, Lord. Teach me your decrees. The, the earth is filled with your love. Says Psalms 104.24 David knew how much the Lord loved the earth, and he could see it, he could feel it. Like, that's what I want. I want to feel it. I want you to be able to feel it want to help you feel how much God loves us. It's amazing. It's crazy when you think about the God of the universe loving you. It's how many are your works, Lord? In wisdom, you made them all. In wisdom, you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. We are his creatures. We're his creation. And his love for us knows no bounds. I mean, it's the love of a parent for your children. You know, you want the only the very best for them and sometimes you might have to chastise them and sometimes you might have to make them pay consequences suffer consequences but it's only because you're trying to teach them the things that will hurt them and show them the things that will hurt them and educate them on the things that will bless them and make them better people um so that is day one god loves the world he loves the little children, red and yellow, black and white. They are precious in his sight. Jesus loves you. He loves me. He loves all of us. And I love you. Um, I'm going to pray now. So we just if you're watching, just bow your heads with me. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you so much for um, your love. Lord, we thank you that you loved us enough to send your son jesus christ lord and as we open this verse lord john 3 16 lord we ask that you would just show us the magnitude and help us to understand the magnitude of what that gift of jesus christ means and the love that you have for us um in giving us that gift lord we love you i ask that anyone watching this would just have a blessed day and have a blessed life, Lord. I ask that if they're going through anything, Lord, do it soothe them, send your Holy Spirit to be um, their comforter, Lord. Um, and I ask that you would just continue to bless us and keep protect us as we go throughout our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful first day of February, and I will see you all tomorrow with day number two. Please, please, please subscribe, like this video, and give it a thumbs up. Um, so, yes, thank you. Subscribe right now. Go ahead. Hit the button. Subscribe. Subscribe? You subscribed? Great. Thanks.